It's been different. Um, we've had to be very inventive with things. A lot of precautions been put in place. You know, the the boys have got a protocol to follow every morning. That's the hardest bit, getting them to remember that. But you know, they, there's messages have to be sent to the the doctor and the physio before half eight in the morning of any symptoms. They then arrive in with their forms filled in of any of the symptoms with COVID nineteen, and have a temperature check on arrival. Crack up. Down the bottom. Right down the bottom. Pause one. Come on, why can't you see it? We've got strap type right next to it. Yeah. I don't know if you've seen it. Oh, yeah. It's actually you can't drive, it's closed off the minute, but you've got this big lake and all that other kind of stuff. They're reporting at different times, they're reporting in the half hour pods of six. The staff have had to be very, very inventive with, with what we've done. I'm back! It is what it is. I know I should be at Real Madrid, but don't worry about that, I'm back. Legend's back. I'm back. Uh, I'm nervous, man. <laughs> The test begins in five seconds. Five, one. You know, it's not our usual pre-season, but we've, we're, you know, we're really looking forward to it. We've, we've got lots of forward planning in place um, for when we do more move a little bit further forward with, with hopefully full contact. But in the meantime, in the first few days, it's just about bedding the boys back in again. Change to speed 18. I can't even run that far. I feel sick for them. I can't run that far. On a treadmill. There's no wind. <laughs> you need to put the treadmill down hill. Yeah. Keep going, Dale. Keep it going. Push him all the way, Dino. Beautiful, Al. Come on, me man. Nearly completed it. Come on. Go on, me man. Push him all the way, Dino. After four months. Oh my God. Twenty-four. It's been three months off, which is a long, long time for Scottish football. Um, I don't know about miss them. Um, yeah, I have. I have to be honest, I have. Um, I try and pretend I don't, but you know, you do. You miss it the every day. You miss, you miss seeing people. You miss the. We're very privileged people. We work in an environment that's in sport, something you love doing um, with, with people. You know, that you, your class as friends. What that? What like lean it? Yeah, it's been quite a warm welcome, so happy, you know, I'm just happy to get here. It's obviously a weird situation, we be training in groups of six or seven, so it's hard, but it's been really good and I've really enjoyed it. But when I spoke to the gaffer and things, it was a big emphasis on it being a learning environment and improving as a player, and I think that's key to get the wins on Saturday. It's massive, but I also think it's important to develop as a player, and that, that's what you put emphasis on. It seemed like a massive selling point, to be fair. Just setting up the warm up for the boys. The, the boys sort of all come to me to do the warm up every day. A um, little bit of stretching, a little bit of mobility stuff. As we go through the warm up, we build up the intensity, get the guys ready for training. We'll then move on to the next pitch to do a conditioning drill with one of the other coaches and then on to another pitch to do another conditioning drill so we can hit them with lots of different types of stuff. Hey, I No, no, it'll have your number. Yeah, they were fighting for it. <laughs> 8, 8, 8, Boys fitness has been great actually. We've done a yo-yo test on day one and we got better scores than we did this time last year. You know, we're really happy fitness wise where they're at. So well, you were always a wee bit nervous doing the test just to see what they're like, but you know, I had real confidence that the guys were going to come back really fit, so um, we've got that. Yeah, we back with Jock, halfway turn. Just nice and light, head up, check shoulder. Halfway turn, jog it all the way back in. We are really lucky and we've got a great group of boys here that, you know, will just work hard if you give them a bit of work. Step, 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 open your hip, lift through, good. The next challenge for us really is to make sure that we build up our areas of fitness, the twisting, the turning, striking balls, that sort of stuff. Um, obviously they've not been able to do that themselves, so that's the next challenge for us to build that up gradually. Pick your partner wisely, Grimmy. 
Pick your partner wisely. <laughs> no, I told me. There's a wee, wee sprint in here, mate. We sprint, so. <laughs> yes, the vein. One 0 Gallica. It's supposed to be a race. It's supposed to be a wee race here. Yeah. Ah. We will be using GPS. So that's the wee kind of units that you see the boys wearing on the back of the tops, and we'll measure their heart rate as well. And we'll just basically make sure that that's progressed up gradually, that we don't suddenly just absolutely blast them on day one when they're not ready for it. So, um, yeah, lots of different metrics. We'll look at their distance, how fast they're running, how many times they change direction, that sort of stuff. Um, we'll feed that back to the coaches, we'll design drills that then progress that, and then, yeah, hopefully we'll, we'll see a good day in fitness. The mentality, you know, the mentality of our boys is they don't want any days off anymore. You know, where you used to beg for a day off to just they appreciate what they've got. You know, I think we've got a mentally strong group of boys. They want to get better. They're making their way in the game. They're not millions of pounds and they're, they're just so enthusiastic. And, they, you know, they inspire every day to come in and into work. So it's good to get back, get back into the bander again and no doubt plenty of stick going my direction.